Hi everyone, and welcome to the early spring edition of Sky Treasures. This is when the seven bright stars of the Big Dipper climb to their highest point in the northern sky. Its distinctive pan shape not only makes it recognizable, but also an excellent pointer to other stars and deep sky objects. For example, the middle star of the handle was often used as an eye test in ancient times. That's because if you look carefully, you'll notice it's actually two stars. Mizar is the brighter one, while Alcor is its faint companion right next to it. In a telescope, Mizar itself splits into a double star. If you turn to face south and look down under the bowl of the Big Dipper, you'll come to the stars of Leo the Lion. Its brightest star is called Regulus and represents the heart of the lion. It also marks the bottom of a hook pattern of stars that looks like a backward question mark. If you extend the curve of the hook farther toward the southwest, you'll end up in a blank section of sky where Cancer the Crab is supposed to be. It's there, but it can be hard to pick out because of its extremely faint stars. Under dark skies, you should come across a faint fuzzy patch of light. Point your binoculars there and you'll find that it resolves into a beautiful little cluster of stars called the Beehive. Galileo was the first to observe the Beehive with a telescope in 1609, counting about 40 stars. Today we know it as one of the best examples of an open star cluster, a loose gathering of about 100 stars all moving together through space. Join us in the Delta College Planetarium on the first Friday of each month at 7 o'clock for Gateway to the Stars, and we'll show you how to find more in the springtime skies. With the Delta College Planetarium and Learning Center, I'm Mike Murray.